In this Unity tutorial, I will show you how to make a main menu. The first step is to create another scene. So I'll right click, do create, do scene, scene. I will call this main menu scene, open it up. In here, we'll add a canvas. So right click over here, go to UI, do canvas. This will add the canvas and the event system. If we go into the scene view now and select 2D view and then double click on the canvas, we can see the full canvas. And let's add a logo for our game, a start button and a quit button. So let's add the logo first. We'll go canvas and go to UI, then image. In here, we can add whatever image logo we have. Let's say I'm making a Flappy Bird game. So we could add the Flappy Bird. Right now it's, it's deformed. So I'll set this to 130 and now put it up here. So this is my logo in this case. You could add whatever you want. I'll call this logo. Then I'll right click on the canvas again, go to UI and this time do a button text mesh pro. You might have to install some stuff when you do that, but now we have the button. Right now it's using the UI sprite, which doesn't look so good. So instead I'll choose none. This just makes it into a square and we can go down to the text of the button and we can call it start game, for example. I'll set the font size to bold, that looks better in my opinion. And also right now the background is the skybox. So I'll go to the main camera and change it into solid color. And now we can choose whatever color we want. I'll just go for this baby blue color. And now we have the start game button, so we'll call it start game. Then I'll copy this, drag it down and I'll call it quit game and change the text. And I'll change the text to quit, like so. Now we have the two buttons. Now we need to add a script to handle the clicks of these two buttons. So right click down here, do create, do mono behavior script. I will call this main menu manager. Open it up. In here, we'll start off by deleting the start and update function. Then we'll add this library called unity engine.scene management. Then in here, we'll do public void load scene and we'll do string scene name. Then we'll do scene manager the load scene scene name. Under here we'll do public void quit game and we'll do application dot quit. Now we have the two functions which handles the loading of a scene and quitting the game. So let's go back into Unity. Now we need to add the script somewhere. So I'll add it to the canvas and I'll drag it over here. Then I'll go to the start game object open up the button right here and on click i can add an event by clicking right here now i'll drag the canvas onto here and instead of doing no function we'll go to main menu manager and click on load scene now we need the name of the scene and it's called game scene so i'll type game scene right here then we'll go to the quit game button and add an event too again drag the canvas over go to main menu manager and do quit game. Last thing you need to do is open the game scene and go to file and go to build profiles and we'll press add open scene. This adds this scene. So now it can be loaded from another scene. Now we can go back into our main menu and press play. Now when we press the start game button, the game scene loads. And you might notice when we press the quit button, nothing happens, but that's because we haven't made a build of the game. We're just in the editor right now. So it would work if we actually built the game. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe.